Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this fall glam for 2023. I would just like to say that this is my favorite time of the year, especially because of all the brown tones and all the holidays. I just, I love it. So first we're going to be starting off with this brown shade and we're going to be blending that all over our crease. Ignore my little eyebrow hairs, you guys. They're everywhere. I need to go get them done. Also, you guys, my fluffy brushes, they're from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, if you guys want to go check that out. Okay, so I'm just going to be blending this eyeshadow in side-to-side -side motions or circular motions, and I'm mainly going to focus on the outer corner of my eye. As you guys can see, I'm stopping midways. I do take it towards the inner corner, but not too much, because I want this to kind of look like a wing. You guys will see what I'm talking about at the end of the video. But we're just going to intensify this color and continue to add some more, you guys, because I actually set my concealer this time. So the product does not apply as bright as when you don't set your concealer. A lot of you guys that watch my videos will know what I'm talking about because I normally don't set my concealer. And I just start applying the eyeshadow so you guys know what I'm talking about. So we're just going to be adding more multiple times so it builds up as you guys can see. Now I'm going in with the second color you guys and I'm going to be blending this in circular motions only on my crease and below my crease. So as you guys can see I'm very very focused on that outer area because I want this to look as blended as possible. I highly recommend this palette you guys. It's from Juvia's Place and it is one of my favorites. It's one of my go-tos because the colors are so blendable. And we do have some fallout, but if you use a fan brush, you know those little tiny ones? They kind of look like a little broom. You use that and you just remove the excess powder that falls onto your face and it comes right off super easily. But yeah, you guys, these shadows are so, so blendable. I love them. Now we're going in with this other shade and it's a lot darker as you guys can see. Try not to cover the other shade. You want to keep this on your crease and under your crease like on our lid. So as you guys can see I'm taking this only halfway onto my eye not all the way to the inner corner. I'm strictly staying on that outer area. Next, I'm going in with the previous brush, you guys, and I'm just going to be blending the top with this. I did not use any product. This is just so that they blend together. Don't be afraid to touch your eyebrow with this color because it's very light, so it won't mess anything up. This is just simply so it looks more blended. Also, ladies, the contacts that I'm using here, they're called Madison Gray, and they're from Dimple Color. I will link it down below if you guys want to purchase some. I am in love with these contacts, you guys. I've been using them multiple times already on my videos. They did sponsor me for a video, but I have continued to use it on my videos without any of that because I personally did love these. So I recommend them. They're very nice. I also have a discount code if you guys want to go purchase them. So make sure you guys check out the link in my description so you guys can go check out all these contacts. I have like two other pairs which I will be showing you guys in the next videos. But these are such good quality and they're so comfortable you guys. I recommend them. After all that blending you guys I'm going to be adding a shimmery shade towards my inner corner. As you guys can see, this is what it looks like. I am in love with this shade. This is so perfect for the fall, you guys. It gives this an extra pop. I did spray my brush with some setting spray before I grabbed some of this shimmery shade. Excuse my phone. <laughs> but yeah, after you spray this with your setting spray, you add it onto your lid and it gives you this bright, shimmery, metallic shade. Just look at how bright it looks. Next, I'm going in with the dark shade that we used, and I'm going to be applying this all around my lash line. I know I normally don't show this step on camera, but I thought I'd show you guys how I do this. It helps if you guys look straight ahead or upwards so that you can apply this and the powder doesn't go into your eye. As you guys can see, I'm looking up or straight forward. Now, I'm, this is the second shade I'm going in with, and then we're going to go in with the third shade, which is the light brown color that we used for this look 
you guys can use smaller brushes if that helps you because I'm so used to using these big ones. It's easy for me to apply them like this. But I recommend if you're a beginner, you use smaller brushes so that it's easier for you to blend without making a mess. Next, I'm going to be applying some eyeshadow on my inner corner. You guys will see I'm going to be using the Morphe setting spray and I'm going to spray my brush after I grab the product. And I'm going to be applying this right here. The setting spray just gives it an extra pop, you guys. As you can see, it is so bright and nice and shimmery. That is what we want. That is what we love. <laughs> now I'm going in with my matte liquid eyeliner by Italia Deluxe, which you guys know is my favorite. And I'm going to be applying this on that outer corner. As you guys can see, I have so much practice with this. Somebody recently asked me for an updated tutorial on my eyeliner. So I will go ahead and do that for you guys probably next week. This is my favorite eyeliner, you guys. I highly recommend it. It is super matte and it is the darkest, darkest black I have ever used with any eyeliner, you guys. I'm in love with it. I recommend it. I recommend you get it. There are different um, black eyeliners that Italia Deluxe has, but they all give this result. It's so good. Now I'm going in with this Dose of Colors eyeliner and I'm going to be applying this on my waterline. Now, if you don't want to make a mess with your foundation, you can grab a small sponge and just pull your skin down so that you can apply this on your waterline. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> My MAC foundation doesn't move, thankfully, so I don't have to do that. But this is just a quick tip for you guys, especially if you're a beginner. After that, you guys, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe Mascara and I'm just going to be applying some on my lower lashes and my top lashes. I'm only going to apply a couple of coats because I have super small ones. So it's basically just so they blend in with my falsies. I'm also going to be doing a very, very small inner corner wing only because I want this to kind of look like a cat eye. So this is why I'm doing it like this. I will show you guys how to do this when I do my updated eyeliner tutorial. It's a lot easier than it looks. Next, I'm going in with my lashes, you guys. And I'm actually going to be selling these on my website very, very soon. I am working with a vendor so I can sell these to you guys. Because I'm personally in love with these. I use them on all of my videos. Like, all of my makeup videos. Now I'm doing my eye off camera and this is the finishing look you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment the word fall if you guys watch this video all the way through so that I know that you're a real one and you watch my videos all the way. But yeah you guys remember to subscribe if you haven't and like this video. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!